Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with a quick video to show you what happens when you reach mastery level 100 in the three specializations, bear, wolf, and raven. And if you want tips on how to level up fast and lots of other guides, check out my AC Valhalla playlist linked in the description below and subscribe to get my latest. So how it works is once you get enough skill points to fill each and every node of the skill tree, you'll start getting mastery points. So after you hit max level, you will get mastery points instead of skill points when you level up. And when you get 100 points in each of the three mastery nodes, nothing special happens. That's right, absolutely nothing noteworthy happened when I hit 100 in all three mastery areas and I was able to keep putting points even above 100, which quite disappointed me. Although I did have a feeling nothing would happen since one of my viewers using a trainer on PC told me the maximum is actually 1000 mastery points in each of the three skill nodes. But I'll be honest, I don't think I'm going to get to 1,000, which is 10 times what I have now. I don't know if anyone will. So I can't confirm that is the mastery points maximum. So it is essentially unlimited mastery points. Although it's not clear how much benefit we really get by gaining and spending mastery points, supposedly, Eivor gets bonus melee damage by putting points into bear mastery, bonus ranged damage from wolf mastery points, and bonus assassination damage from raven mastery points. But I personally have not noticed a difference. The biggest thing that's made me better in combat is by doing the mastery challenges, which are not related to the mastery points. The mastery challenges are those trials you can complete at the five mastery shrines, Wenlikin Outpost, Lollenstone Bandit Camp, Odin's Mine, Kaliba Outpost, and Temple Grove Fort. Doing all of those trials has dramatically improved my aim with a bow, my ability to parry with a shield or offhand weapon, and my stealth tactics, among other things. So I really enjoyed the mastery challenges and I'm happy they were added in that last major update and I hope we'll get more. But as for the mastery points in the skill tree, I still don't fully understand how they work or what their purpose is in this game. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. And of course, I will keep you posted if I learn anything new. This is Amber. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to get my latest guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.